Yes, you know, the commission was appointed uh, with a very big responsibility, a time-bound uh, job the commission has to fulfill. You know, a large number of suggestions are already before the committee. The Congress is a responsible party. We also have given our suggestions before the Verma Commission. And we do not want to go into the suggestions we have made because the commission has to take a decision very soon, in few days' time. So we do not want to make those suggestions controversial or discussion point at this time. But about extension of the, uh, the, uh, the period of uh, punishment and also the amendment of the Juvenile Justice Act, various suggestions we have given to the Commission and uh, I do not want to go into those suggestions which we have made. There are many uh, parties and uh, organizations have given suggestions and it is the committee, Commission to take a decision. We have given our suggestions before the committee. What are those suggestions? I do not want to go into those suggestions now because the commission is going to take a decision mainly on three points. That is about this uh, amendment of the Juvenile Justice Act and also giving uh, severe punishment that uh, term of uh, imprisonment, extension of the term of imprisonment. And uh, these are all issues we have dealt with in our uh, Representation. There are many suggestions. Capital punishment is also one of the suggestions, but uh, we have given our suggestions, which I do not want to reveal at this point now. The extension of the present term of punishment is our suggestion. That is what I said that, you know, no, the, the present, the rape, um, rape should be uh, made a very severe offense and punishment should be increased. What is present is quite in, insufficient and it is not enough to discourage people involving in this kind of uh, crimes. So all these aspects are being covered, you know, about uh, the uh, giving uh, more severe punishment and uh, also, you know, the uh, recent case, there is a, uh, uh, a person who is uh, 18 years old, so whether uh, according to the present um, uh, law he cannot be tried along with the others so how to overcome um, for that requires juvenile uh, act amendment so all these issues are dealt with in our representation because if we go into those uh, specific suggestions you know uh, before uh, this uh, week itself a decision will be taken by the verma commission so probably it we do not want to make it controversial anyway. That is the only reason why we are not giving out these details. Castration to execution. So many suggestions are there. You know, I am not going into the specifics of that. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. We have given. Covering all these important aspects, the opinion of the party is being given to Mr. Verma, Justice Verma's commission. And uh, since they are going to take a very crucial decision, which has got far-reaching consequences, at this point of time, about the various suggestions confronting each other, controversy on these suggestions, that should not come up. That is the only reason uh, what we, we are not uh, publicizing our suggestions. We are more interested in the final outcome of what Justice Verma Commission report. So what we have did is that as a responsible political party, we have given our suggestions to Justice Verma Commission that will help them to take a very fair decision in the given context which will be satisfactory to all the anxieties people are having now. Mr. Chakra, do you think some action should be taken against the uh, public representatives 
like the member of parliament or MLAs who have uh, charges of rape or sexual assault against them? That goes without saying. Who will uh, say no? Jaham Mahalayev Suresh Nahi action should be taken, but whether it is Rashtrapati Shasan or otherwise, Rashtrapati Shasan is the only answer for security of women. That is a matter of dispute. But uh, wherever women is unsafe, there has to be severe action. That that is the essence of that statement. So that we have to agree with that. No, because whether it is 30 years or 40 years or castration or execution, all these things, debates should not be uh, vitiating the atmosphere now. We have to come to a conclusion and the whole nation is waiting for the outcome of that. You know. We are experts in make, making controversies and at the end of the day, there will not be a favorable result. And we have, uh, uh, you know, uh, applied our uh, collective wisdom on all these issues and we have given our suggestions. At this point of time, we do not want to publicize our suggestions. Sir, suppose, uh, according to you, right, uh, right now, do you feel the capital punishment on chemical castration on 40 years, which is, uh, you feel, right to give a Not according to me, according to our party, we have given a suggestions to the commission. No, I, we, there is nothing, net, nothing secretive or nothing confidential, but I honestly feel that a controversy on these things. Because, you know, when about the punishment period, about various other steps to be taken, when an honorable uh, ex-Chief Justice entrusted this responsibility, it is our duty to help him to arrive at the right conclusion. So we do not uh, want to debate these issues in advance. No, we are not asking the debate. We are asking which one is the preference for the Congress. No, that of course is a matter to be decided by the Commission. We have given our suggestion. I have read the statement that these two are two sides of the same coin, you know, that is Mr. Shivanand Tiwari's opinion, how can I dispute that? No, no, but sir, uh, but why this show of leniency to Mr. OAC, who gets, he, who has the liberty of returning at his own convenience, he will go to the police station at his own convenience, would you have spared any other leader uh, who makes a hate speech, goes to London, comes back and then tells the police that he will come at his own convenience in two, three days? Why this leniency? Absolutely no question of any leniency. We do not subscribe to the, his opinion. And uh, we have already distanced, we have already made our stand very clear about it. Such statements uh, vitiate the atmosphere that creates confusion and mistrust in the society. We in no way uh, have any, we have no soft corner for uh, Ovasi's statement or his stand on that. Yes, yes, action will be taken. Action will be taken, no doubt about it. And we are not for any kind of compromise on such basic issues. Obviously, statement, you know, after all, uh, it is not our opinion. The question was about uh, um, this uh, JDU leader's statement. It is his opinion. And uh, nobody can dispute that also because people on both sides spreading the same calumny in the same wavelength. So probably one can always paraphrase it like that. So are you saying RSS is the, uh, Mohan Bhagwat is uh, equal are to Ovesi? Are you endorsing what Shivanan Tiwari has said? They are the same sort of same. I am not endorsing, I am not denying that. Because it is his suggestion. No, but do you also believe they are... Pardon me? Yeah, it was... Uh, uh, we have already submitted, it is uh, three days now. That's not very important, you know. We have taken a decision on that and we have given the suggestion. No, who has gone there to meet uh, Justice Varman, you know, and how he travelled and who gone, these are not very important.
The only thing is that we, our collective wisdom on this very important issue was given for the commission who is taking a decision on this. That we have done and that we are not giving, making a, it public, not to make it a controversy. That is all. Sir. Sir, after this gangway, we saw a lot of youth coming out and, you know, expressed their disappointment with the government. How is the Congress going to get this youth vote back to them? Youth came to the street, protests were there all over the country. It was not against Congress. It was unfortunately against the wrongdoings which is happening in the country. And the whole nation is in one voice condemning this. So there is no question of uh, bringing them back to Congress or they moving away from Congress. That is not there. We were all protesting on this and we were all want the governments to take uh, effective steps. That is why all these subsequent steps were taken. Law and order situation, whether the government is dealing with strongly, and in the recent case, we have seen that the government, the police have acted very swiftly. And uh, that is, if some unfortunate things happens, the follow-up is done or not. That is one thing we have to analyze, that the government had taken and today it has started trial. Unfortunately, today the matter has come before, for trial in a court in Delhi. And the very same day, some... Uh, respected leaders, social leaders had issued statements saying that, you know, the, the victim of the case is also responsible for this incident. So these kind of statements are coming. You might have seen that. Yeah, it's most unfortunate uh, that such statements, responsible people are issuing such statements. And the government could book the culprits and uh, make a uh, charge sheet and frame the uh, I filed the charge sheet and they were uh, produced in the court. And the very same day when the whole country wants this to be go for a speedy trial and the government is taking all efforts to do it uh, in, the, in the, the best way possible. Uh, some strange statements are coming from uh, some quarters that, you know, the rape victim was also responsible for this incident. It's most unfortunate and uh, such statements, anybody who uh, issues a statement should refrain from them. They should withdraw their statements and they should not uh, 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 create uh, more confusion and agony. People are already very much agitated on this issue and uh, nobody should do anything which aggravates See the such situation. Governor, a report uh, says that uh, the killer of uh, former Prime Minister Mr. Indira Gandhi has been recognized, awarded by the Akali Dal. Would you like to comment on this? What I read is that you know Akali Dal is distancing from that. Today's reports, today's reports are that you know they are distancing from that, and they are not attending the function, nor they are uh, they are distancing from that. That is the report today. Akali Dal has shown their, uh, you know, opinion on this, that, you know, they are distancing from this function. Whether a SGPC is controlled by somebody or other, that's an entirely, the decision taken by this GPC is not supported or endorsed or approved by Akali Dal. That is why they have openly issued the statement. They said they are refraining from this, they are uh, distancing from that. Do you approve SGPC's uh, actions? And uh, about SGPC's action is not the question, it's about Akali Dal's action, Akali Dal's attitude. Akali Dal, I read, I don't know if it is otherwise, I am, um, uh, I mean, I owe an explanation, but as I understand, um, uh, you also might have read that, you know, Akali Dal has issued statement that they are distancing from this SGPC decision. For the time being, we have to take it in its face value. If something more than that, that you will come out. That, that will come out uh, subsequently only. No, no. Do you approve the SCPC's action? Of Sir, the question is not about SCPC action. Whether Akali Dal stand or not, who will support SCPC action? Even Akali Dal is not supporting, then you are asking me whether I support SCPC action. Definitely. In the strongest possible uh, uh, manner. Sir.
what are the steps you are going to take in already 10 days have completed and uh, what is the outcome of more company there is 20 days more <laughs> and the decision is very i mean some very serious decisions discussions are taking place and uh, home minister has said it very deliberately and the follow up action is being done No, whether uh, communal uh, conflicts happening anywhere in the country, whether it is Maharashtra or anywhere, government should deal uh, with it very firmly. I think Maharashtra government also, in the three incidents which happened in Maharashtra, in Pune and in other places, are dealt with sternly by the state government. And uh, Congress party is of the opinion that whatever be the reason behind, it should be dealt with very firmly with an iron hand by the governments. And uh, that is being done. I understand that steps are being taken and it is being contained, you know, those uh, instances which happened there, unfortunate instances in three places, that, uh, that is already contained and government has taken strong action on that. And we are for strong action. 